Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to my trying a new makeup product every day series. Today I'm so excited to try out another product from a brand that I'm not familiar with that I got in my March beauty subscriptions. So this one I actually got in my March 2021 Ipsy Glam Bag. So if you have not seen my unbagging of that, I'll have that video linked in the description down below. But this is from the brand Carmella Cosmetics. It's the Silk Matte Lipstick in High Vibe. And I was looking this brand up a little bit more online and they sound amazing. I love like on the packaging, I'm gonna try and like get it to show in the light, but it has K's, oh, there you go, like all over the packaging, which is my initial. So I love that. But even more to love about this brand is that it's all about woman empowerment. So it says 10% of their profits goes to women charities. It's also cruelty free, paraben free, gluten free. And they have such an amazing range of lipstick colors. So here I have a beautiful red, but they have a whole red collection, pink collection, nude collection, purple collection which I think is so awesome. And the lipsticks all retail for $24. So this one here is actually not the full size product that you would get for $24. This is considered a deluxe sample. And the packaging for the full size ones that you buy on the Carmella Cosmetics website does look a little different, but I like the packaging on even this sample here. So I'm already very impressed with this brand. And then it also says that this matte lipstick is made with good for you minerals, oils, vitamins, and antioxidants, which my dry lips need. It's supposed to be non-drying, long-lasting. So I am very excited to try it out. Before I apply it to my lips though, I do want to do a swatch. Oh yeah. Creamy, pigmented, bright red. I am so excited to wear this. I like the shape of the lipstick too, where it's got a nice point so that you can hopefully get more precise because I definitely struggle to apply <laughs> red lipsticks like this. You know what? I am noticing a mint smell to this. And I love mint scented and flavored lip products. This is so pigmented and creamy. It is so nice to apply. I actually don't think I did too bad of a job with getting a kind of precise shape with a red lip <laughs> in a bullet lipstick tube. Typically, I do need a lip liner and I could probably benefit from a lip liner just to get a more perfect shape, but really not bad and not too difficult at all to apply without a lip liner. And it actually does have a bit of a cooling feeling going along with that mint flavor. That is such a pleasant surprise, but seriously, this is beautiful. It's definitely a bold, vibrant red. <laughs> the type of red that I honestly do struggle with a bit, just because like even on the edge here, like I don't, don't even know how or when that happened, but it's already kind of smudged on the edge. And I just feel like with such a bold, bright color, it draws all of your attention to the lips. So you're very like, easy to notice any mess ups. So that's the only thing, like it's not, it's definitely like not the easiest lipstick to wear, like color wise, <laughs> like application, shape, like to me, this is probably the most intimidating type of lip product to wear, but just kind of getting past all of that, it's beautiful. And the formula is so nice. It's completely smoothing and hydrating to my dry chapped lips, where like my lips are looking smooth, even color, 
moisturized. It really does kind of feel like a lip balm and a lipstick two in one. Like I'm so impressed by this formula and this bright pigmented color. Like when it said that it was matte, I kind of was expecting it to show more texture or something for my dry lips, but not at all. They said that this is non-drying and that is so accurate. It's supposed to be very long lasting, so I'm very curious about the transfer. <laughs> yeah, that is a lot of transfer, but look at how pretty that kiss mark is. But wow, so pigmented that you cannot even tell that there was any transfer. And that's a lot of transfer to come off. So I feel like that's a very interesting test is when you see that there is so much transfer, but the color didn't fade at all from my lips. So that is very impressive. I'm just all around so impressed by this lipstick. And then just what makes it even better is everything I was talking about beforehand. How great of a company it is, the great ingredients in it, so it's safe to say I am very happy about this lipstick and I just want to build up my collection of Carmella Cosmetics lipsticks because they are so good. So if you have tried any of the Carmella Cosmetics lipsticks, I definitely want to know your thoughts in the comments down below. Let me know what colors you've tried. Since I am feeling a little just like like what would how would i describe it just a little bit nervous to wear such a bold bright red you know maybe i just need to pick up one of the pink collection shades or from the nude shade collection so they really do have a lipstick for everyone i want to be the type of person that can just throw on this bright red lip and not worry about it at all. But I know as soon as I leave the house with this on, I am going to be checking it constantly, making sure it's not smudged, making sure it looks okay. And even though after that transfer test, we know it will look okay as the day goes on, I just know myself that I'm gonna be like aware that I'm wearing something bold and I'm gonna be aware when people notice it on my lips. <laughs> but you know, maybe it just takes some practice. Maybe I just have to go for it and I just need to wear this red lip and get used to it <laughs> because it really is so pretty. But anyways, thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video.